Hi everyone, this is Paul Isley from Rainforest Flora. And today we're going to talk about the trichomes, the peltate scales, the white fuzz on the leaves of the tillandsias. Okay? Um, it's the one aspect, the one physical attribute of the plants that they have evolved to a higher degree than any other plants on earth. And they, they all have the same central structure, but then they vary in the way that they, they work and the reason that they're there. And so I'm going to show you today some examples that will explain this to you. At least we're going to try. So here we have uh, five different species. We have Tillandsia xerographica. We have a hybrid called Show Me, which is Showtime Backcrossed or Bulbosa Gigante. We have Tillandsia crocata, Tillandsia gramogolensis, and Tillandsia cyania. You can see that they look very different. The xerographica has a very smooth velvety covering of trichomes on the leaf here. This is because in nature, it grows in deserts where it gets very hot. So the trichomes have wings on each individual trichome and those wings in this species are horizontal to the leaf surface. There's a micro boundary of air created between the trichome wing and the leaf itself, the epidermis itself. And that little boundary layer of air helps to keep the plant cooler. On the other hand, you have these two, the Gramovalensis and the Crocata, and you can see how fuzzy they are. This means that in nature they grow in areas that are exposed to frequent rainfall at least at certain times of the year, and therefore they have to dry out quickly. So the trichome wings in their dry state will stand up vertical perpendicularly to the uh, to the leaf surface so the air can pass over and dry them out. They may get showers two or three or four times a day and they have to be able to dry out or they would rot. So that's why these are very fuzzy. Then you have Tillandsia show me here and you can see it actually exhibits both characteristics. The, the leaf sheaths here are more fuzzy and the leaf blades here are much more glabrous. Glabrous is the word that is used when there isn't um, a, a, a lot of trichomes. And there's good reasons for this. Um, this one also grows in areas that get a lot of water. And so you can see how channeled the leaf is. And so there's kind of a waxy coating on the outside of these leaf blades that repels the water that hits it. And then on the inside of the leaves, um, there is a lot more trichome there, but there's not much water that gets there. So that's how this deals with uh, abundant water in nature and plus it tends to grow upside down so that the water runs off because again there are times of the year when it gets a lot of rain. Then we go over here to the Tillandsia cyania and you can see to the eye there really is no fuzz. This one grows deep in the jungle and it needs to get a lot of light because it's dark where this one grows in nature down by the jungle floor. So the, the, the trichomes besides helping to absorb water, they also reflect the extra sunlight that hits the plants. So plants that have trichomes that are very fuzzy, like Xerographica or Gramogolensis or Crocata, grow in areas where there is a lot of direct sunlight, and then these trichomes can reflect up to 95% of the light that hits the trichome. Whereas when you go deep in the jungle where it's dark, they need all the light they can get. It's like white skin and sunlight. So these don't have much of a covering of trichomes that are at least visible to the naked eye. And you have this green chlorophyll that shines through because the, um, the trichomes are diaphanous. They're very thin. You don't see them. So thank you for listening. Uh, this was a quick one today, and we'll see you next time around. Bye-bye.